process used to construct and install modular ramps is described starting on page 21. Doug Sandstead, a local building official from New Hope, Minnesota, highlights key structural aspects of the design. I will be using the handy booklet that uh, your group has designed uh, for the construction and installation of these ramps. One of the nice things about it is that uh, even in cities where a building permit might not be required for this kind of a project, the book has the approval from the State Building Code Division for its design and it has some very nice specific details on exactly how the frame should be built so that it's boltable and removable but strong as a rock. We've got cross braces that are required when we get more than 21 inches above grade, the design calls for the diagonal sway braces, these two by fours. We have two by six beams, two member, and uh, two by six joists, which the design calls for in the booklet. These are the typical uh, Simpson or equivalent galvanized joist hangers. So they are installed properly with adequate nailing patterns. In this area we can see the 12 by 12 inch treated plywood bearing plate set right on the ground, which is all part of the nice design for this, this uh, demountable bolted ramp system. And the, the bolts and cross braces are in. And once we get to the lower sections that are under 21 inches above ground, we, we, we can drop the diagonal 2x4 bracing and use these plywood gussets. Uh, there's a minimum number of screws required. The minimum number of fasteners is probably 8 or 10. The booklet tells you exactly what. Uh, but that produces sufficient strength when we're closer to ground level to, uh, to be very solid. The decking surface itself is uh, installed so that the, the joints are perpendicular to the path of travel. Notice the spacing between the decking boards, which allows for good drainage. It also provides a ridged effect, improving traction. The guardrail on the sloping ramp itself is 36 inches high, which, which is right in the middle of the normal uh, minimum height above the decking itself. That range is 34 to 38 inches, so 36 is just a nice, comfortable, legal uh, top of rail. We also have intermediate posts that are spaced properly so that you could not fit a, a, a six-inch ball through the hole. Uh, building codes will be changing within a year or so to require that to be no greater than four inches. The handrail is placed at a height between 34 and 38 inches above the decking itself. It's securely fastened and it's grippable with a return, we call this, to the guardrail itself uh, as is required on in the building code for new handrails. Okay, now I will uh, check the decking to make sure it is uniformly installed without any uh, high points and regularly spaced looks good and I'll give it a little bounce when I get up here uh, which is my standard practice the I call it the 210 pound Norwegian test solid as a rock this this landing looks good the manual has the dimensions for all of the components and provides assembly instructions 